And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Kenneth McDowell, who writes, Hi, John and Rob. Have you seen the new set photos from the new Dungeons and Dragons film? From the looks of Hugh Grant's costume, it looks as if this is going to be a comedy. I didn't expect it to be going in that direction. What do you guys think of this possible take on the D&D universe? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Kenneth. And yes, listen, you guys know I'm a big D&D guy. My wife is uh, is not only plays in a D&D group with us, but she's our, our group's dungeon master. She also plays in a D&D group with the head office of Wizards of the Coast. She actually plays Wizards of the Coast who own Dungeons and Dragons. She plays in a D&D group with them. And virtually, of course. She doesn't travel to Seattle to do it, but she plays with them virtually. Anyway, so we're big D&D fans. There was an original D&D fan, uh, D&D movie that came out. Absolutely garbage and awful. It, one of the weigh-ins was in it. Uh, uh, Jeremy Irons was in it. And just no one talks about it. It's the movie that shall not be named in uh, Dungeons and Dragons circles. But once they announced they had this new one coming out, and then they started to attach real talent to it. Talent like Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Justice Smith. Um, and then we heard Hugh Grant. And I've, I've been a big Hugh Grant fan for a long time. I think this dude is an immensely entertaining performer, and I love seeing him on stuff. Now, you mentioned in your email that Hugh Grant's costume makes it look like a comedy. I can tell you this. You did not see the actual set photos. What you saw, I can only imagine, was the story on Screen Rant that instead of using one of the actual set photos, they used this older fo photo of Hugh Grant. Th that is... That is not, if you look at the symbols, that, that's our world. That's a, that's our world stuff. That's not Dungeons and Dragons. That is not, I can only assume when you say Hugh Grant's costume made it look like a comedy, you probably stumbled on Screen Rant's report and you saw that picture. That picture is not the picture that we are talking about. That is not a set photo from Dungeons and Dragons, just so you know. The actual set photo from Dungeons and Dragons is this. And this does not look like it's a comedy. This, as, well, first of all, how handsome of a man is Hugh Grant? That's a handsome, <laughs> handsome man, my friends. That is a handsome man. And the first of all, the outfit, it's subtle. It's not flamboyant. It's not over the top. Oh, like, I love that. Dude, I would walk around my house in that coat. I would just, I would mm -hmm. put that coat on. I wear it everywhere. I, I would wear that coat everywhere. Anyway. Uh, that's the one they're talking about when they talk about the new look from him. But listen, that's not the only first look we've been getting. Daily Mail uh, put out some leaked photos as well. And we can take a, a look at a couple of them here. Uh, for instance, here's one with a, a, a practical effect dragon head, apparently. You get a shot of Justice Smith, and I believe, I think that's Michelle Rodriguez on there too. There we get a good look at Chris Pine. Obviously, look, nothing flashy and colorful or flamboyant. It's muted tones, earth tones, things like that. Looks like the one girl here, the redhead girl, I'm not sure who that is, but she's got horns coming out of her head, so she's a different species. Uh, different looks from around the set that have come out. This is, of course, all on the Daily Mail. And look, again, I have no idea if this Dungeons & Dragons movie is going to be the Dungeons & Dragons movie we've all especially those of us who are fans of the property have all really wanted and hoped for, but to finally see some set photos come out and they're not going with the bright, vibrant colors and they're not going with comedy looks. And again, let me emphasize one more time. If this is the image you came across, that is not the Hugh Grant picture photo from the set of Dungeons and Dragons. That's something else entirely. Um, it's, it's at least makes me smile, Rob. It, it makes me feel a little better knowing that, okay, like this could, this movie could still be a complete car wreck and totally garbage, but to see <laughs> that they're going again, even just with colors, earth tones, subdued colors, you know, a, a little more grounded feeling stuff that to me makes me feel a little bit more settled. That makes me feel a little bit better. So I know Rob, you had a chance to see these photos. What did you think of what we're seeing from the uh, Dungeons and Dragons set there? Well, I like look. I, I don't know what people expect, but even the title "Dungeons and Dragons" has a little bit of amusement to it. It's not like it's this hardcore. <laughs> it's, it's it's it says fun to me, you know. I and and I think that 
the tone of the movie nowadays, I think tone is very important, especially when it comes to fantasy films. And I think, look, Lord of the Rings had humor in it. It, it also had an apocalyptic battle for Middle Earth. But the characters, especially like the relationship between Legolas and Gimli, was amusing. You're tossing a dwarf. You know, they were always cracking jokes like this, even in the face of apocalypse. So I, I think, like you said, uh, I, I don't see necessarily a comedic tone here. I see that they're trying to keep it a little bit more realistic. And I mean, after all, you know, the idea of Dungeons and Dragons, I've kind of seen as, as the equivalent of watching a comic book movie as opposed to reading a comic book itself. Comic books, vite, vite, bright, vibrant, uh, uh, colorful. But when you see those things translated into film, they're muted and they have to bring these things down because in the real world, even Wolverine wearing a yellow striped tiger outfit necessarily wouldn't translate into the real world. So they have to make it believable. And I think having that, whether that jacket's in the movie or not, it's a badass jacket. I could see a villain wearing that, you know, meeting him in his castle or wherever his encampment is, uh, you know, why not? So I, I, I wouldn't worry about something yet. I think we have to wait and see. All right, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about these photo images? I guess a lot of it will be determined by what was your anticipation level for a new Dungeons and Dragons movie in the first place. If you weren't interested at all, these photos may not mean anything to you. If you are excited about it, maybe the photos will mean something different. Where, regardless of wherever you're coming from, what do you guys think? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.